Hey everybody, welcome to my channel once again. Now in the previous videos that I did about how we started to do the invoice, how to create the invoice, how to add the logo to the invoice, how to format the numbers and everything, uh, we didn't do one important step. Um, I, actually, I didn't discuss it and I'm going to discuss it today. Um, we have to save our file. Uh, important, very important. Um, at each step that you make any adjustments, we're going to save our file. And um, on top of that, now we want to be able to send our invoice to our customer, maybe via email. And um, the best format to send the file in basically is a PDF format. So we, we're going to do all of that today. So the first thing I'm going to do, I already have the invoice here for my customer, Kyla Diaz. I'm going to save this particular invoice for Kyla Diaz. So let's go into File, Save As. Well, I guess you may have a particular folder that you want to save where you want to save your document. And for this particular customer, maybe I would have more than one invoice for her. So I'll create a folder for her, for Kyla Diaz. Let's create a, a new, new folder. So let's go into new folder. I'm going to put here Kyla Diaz. Okay. I'm going to click on that particular folder and save her invoice. I'm going to save it by her number. I think it was um, KD1001, something like that. Well, you can, you can understand what I'm trying to say, okay? So I'm going to save the invoice now in a folder under her name. Okay, so that particular, this particular invoice is saved. Now, the next thing we need to do now, we want to, to save this invoice, make a template out of this invoice. So each time you have to make a new invoice, you just pull up your template and make an invoice for the next customer. So basically, I'll just delete this information because we don't want this information in the template. I will take off, remove the invoice number. Now, remember, the date is a formula, so we're not going to take off that. And of course, the name of my company, your company, the company, the slogan, the address, that remains the same. We're not going to change that. And we're going to move all this information here for this current invoice. I'm going to move that. See, everything here is blank. Nothing here is going to change. We're going to leave everything as is. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to save this stencil. So we're going to use this for our next invoice. So I'm going to save this. Now I'll just put it as, save it as invoice. See, stencil. Or stencil or template, whatever you want to call it. Okay, good. So we've done those two things. So what I want to do now, I'm going to open my invoice for Kyla Diaz and save it as a PDF, PDF file. So I'm going to open her file this particular invoice now just for information sake the stencil invoice i wouldn't normally save it in the same folder for kyla diaz i'll save it in another in, um, folder with general stuff for my business okay so here's kyla invoice diaz sorry kyla diaz invoice and i'm going to save it as a pdf file so i'm just basically going to start save as i'm going to look for the option of pdf all right, I'm going to click on PDF and well, you can leave it as the same name. You see the save type as PDF, that's what you want. Let's click on publish and let it do its thing. Okay, that's done. So basically we are done, but I just want you to see exactly what the PDF file is going to look like. Okay, so this is your the invoice for Kyla Diaz. This is a PDF file. So this is when you, if you want to mail the invoice to your, to your customer, this is what they're going to see when they pull up the invoice. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's very helpful for you um, in doing your invoice for your own self. Um, if you need any information, please feel free to send, leave a message for me in the, in the comments area below. I'll be happy to try and help you as much as I can. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.